Hey guys, it's Dana Sacco, your system and automation specialist, and I'm here today with Sweet Dash with, with a really cool feature, which is built into their forms. It's called conditional logic. Okay, that's the fancy term. Otherwise, it's called if then. If this happens, then this. And this is built into their form to show different questions. So if, say for example, and we're going to go ahead and build one, we're going to create a new form. It's going to kick off a form. It's just going to be a kickoff form. We're going to say inquiry. And this could be like the kickoff between, okay, they just, they just got it there. What type of service are they interested in, right? So what we're going to do, and for some reason, these aren't showing up really well. So I'm going to hold off on that sort of thing. But you see all of this stuff down here? Well, we're going to make it go away. I know that sounds really weird, right? But we're going to make a choice block. Why? Because what this is going to be is service interested in. And then I'm going to wing this one with mine CRM setup. Then I'm going to add a new choice here and we're going to call this systemology. Oops, if I can't type. All right. Now, remember how all this stuff was down here of select what they go to and everything else? Well, you can make it specific towards each selection. So we're going to make this a lead or a prospect, actually. The coordinator is going to be me. And say I can assign them a salesperson, and I can also assign a circle. And I haven't set that up in this system yet, but it's just kind of sort of you know what you're doing so say someone's looking for bookkeeping or whatever you can automatically set up a bookkeeping contract for them why you want to do that just yet i don't know but you know it's just kind of there email marketing audience based on what they select right now so you can do a whole bunch of different things you can add a tag in here you can do all of this different stuff coordinator, salesperson, it's all right there. Now I could change it. See here, I can make this one, I could set this one up as a lead versus a prospect. And I could again, change all the different circles. So that's really cool. Now, how does this play out in other things? So say I, I happen to know that this is at a new custom field and I'm going to say CRM setup and the custom field is, well, I'm going to say which CRM, what CRM system are you using? Actually, it's uh, are you using if if any usage, it's going to go into their contact information, the type. I want it as a single line text area because that's easy enough and people could just type it in. Then let's see number of employees. How many employees do you have? Do you we're going to do employees, contractors. Do you currently have? Type. And this one, I can even make it a number, right? Usage, it goes there. You can have categories. I don't have anything again set up. Now, this is where it gets fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Condition one. So if... Condition one, service interested in. If they have selected CRM setup, right? Then show field, which CRM? I can add a new condition. Why? Because there's multiple choices there. 
And for some reason, I always have to exit out and then do that one again. If they have done systemology, then show field of number of employees. Now, what I'm going to do is save it. And this is what it looks like to them. And I think that this is really cool. Okay. So if they choose, let's go ahead and copy that. System, oh, it didn't save it like it's supposed to, oops. All right, I found the error, and just to give you a heads up of what that error was, for some reason it deleted this part, the service interested in. So here again is the form where you've got the primary email, you have the first name, last name, you can add other things in here, whatever. Now, depending on what they select, here's the next question. Very simple, right? I know, that's awesome. It's super simple. And there's a couple other things that you can do. You can have, you can do the process. Okay, it submitted the form. Of course, I don't have anything submitted, but you can actually have the thank you page, like change and do all this other stuff. I mean, there's a lot of cool things that you can do for it. So the thank you page would be different and it's just really simple but that conditional logic lets you add in more questions so that you don't have to send them a second questionnaire so that you don't have to add anything else so that if they have this information right there you're going into the meeting right there and they're not irritated why aren't they irritated because they've already answered the questions and they don't have to answer anything else i got to say that that's pretty dang cool and so I'm kind of looking forward to digging into this a little bit more to see what can happen. Thank you so much and please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.